So that pony show that we all love is back for another half season. Season 6 is back and it's back with an amazing episode. Hey everybody, this is Dijink64 and welcome to my review for Stranger Than Fan Fiction. So yeah, it was a really awesome episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, brought in an amazing character and actually gave us quite an impressive villain. I will talk about that in a minute, but I really liked the villain. So first of all, the new character that they introduced, Quibble Pants, which is what I want to talk about first, was actually voiced by one of my favorite voice actors ever. He was absolutely amazing, Patton Oswalt. Holy crap! Um, he voiced Jesse from Minecraft Story Mode. He was also in uh, that BoJack Horseman TV show and just a bunch of other TV shows. Holy crap! He is just absolutely amazing. I love the guy. <laughs> uh, Quibble Pants was a great character. I noticed that. Um, the way he hated Daring Do bore striking resemblance to the people that hate the prequels of Star Wars, which is awesome. And it was really cool. This character was awesome. I'm glad they brought this guy on. I love him. I love it all. It was a great character, and I would love to see him again. I would love to see him in future episodes. Holy crap. As for the villain, and this is what I'm going to do next, uh, the villain was really interesting. Um, he wasn't in it for as long as I would have liked to see him in it, and that was really a shame. It was a Daring Do villain, kind of like how in the last Daring Do episode we got Aquizotal. This time we are getting Dr. Caballeron, who is actually a really awesome villain, and especially the whole, you're from the supervillain school of bad accents. <laughs> that was just awesome. And basically at that point we get introduced to a really cool looking monster this is actually one of my favorite designs so far in this entire series it was just amazing and actually the official name for this thing is just really weird it's called the Sipatli. i cannot pronounce it for my life i'll show the name on screen if any of you know how to pronounce that some of the Daring Do villains are really hard to pronounce names like Arizoto, Sipachi, I really don't know how to pronounce that if any of you guys can actually tell me. <laughs> but um, a lot of stuff happens, Daring Do comes in and it just, it's so awesome. Really Indiana Jones style stuff, it was amazing. Rainbow and Quibble become friends and it becomes like the best ship ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so cool. I really enjoyed this episode. And the thing about this episode is actually, at least in production order, it's the 14th episode of the season. The reason for that is that this Fulton our Cutie Marks episode that's coming up has actually already been made. It's just the scheduling is really weird, so it's not getting aired before this. So this is the 14th episode being made, but it's the 13th episode being aired. Just thought I'd actually say that again. But, um... It was really cool to see Daring Do back, voiced by Tiara Zani. I swear to god, Daring Do and her villains, I cannot pronounce their names. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But this episode actually was released early, which I didn't get to watch it early. I live in the UK, it was released on US and Canadian Netflix services, so again, I wasn't able to watch it, some people were. So I just wanted to put that out there. And actually, this is really cool. The co-writer of the episode, Michael Vogel, actually really revealed that Quibble Pants monologue during the end credits, which I loved, by the way. That was all improvised. That was all improvised by Patton Oswalt. It was really awesome. He's a great vibe too, as well. If you guys haven't checked out some of his work, you really should. Holy crap, it's good. <laughs> I love him, but um, it was a really good episode. One of my favorite writers actually wrote it, Josh Haber, as you guys may or may not know. But it was so cool. God, I love this episode. <laughs> um, I don't know how they intend to beat it. It was just a great episode to come back with. It was awesome. The whole convention aspect of it was so true as well. Some of the stuff that they talked about with the conventions is so true for real conventions as well. It's awesome. And because <laughs> some cosplays are so good. Sometimes you can't even tell. You really can't. And it's really awesome. But um, yeah, it was just great to see Daring Do again. I'm really happy that we got to see her again. And that epilogue at the end was really cool, especially at the end credits. I loved it. It, it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, I don't know if we'll actually see Daring Do again, because again, I would love to see Daring Do. Daring Do is awesome, in my opinion. And I have the Daring Do books, but if we would see Daring Do again, I don't know what they do, probably just another episode like this, but there's no way that they can really take her character that they've already taken her. It would just be another adventure episode like this, which would be cool, but again, 
In my opinion, I prefer episodes that focus heavily on story, so it wouldn't really contribute anything to a story in any way, so that's kind of a shame, but it would be cool to see um, Daring Do again. I would totally appreciate that, and I hope you guys would too. But Quibble Prance is an amazing character, the villain was really amazing, we got an absolutely freaking awesome design, and a lot of you guys have to admit that. But uh, with an impronounceable name. <laughs> But uh, yeah, just just a great episode overall. I don't know what the next episode is. I think the next episode is the cart before the ponies, so I'm looking forward to that one. I'm not too sure what it's about. I actually talked about the thing, the hypnosis a while back. <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, we're really looking forward to the next episode. This episode was awesome, and yeah. Again, these reviews are just going to be short, just giving my overall opinions of the episode. Which I don't want to tag on to the reaction just because, um, reasons. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And actually, after re watching the episode, I noticed some animation errors. Of course, there'd be some animation errors, like the clipping of the wings on Quibble Pants. <laughs> it's only to be expected, but I thought it was quite funny. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for the cart before the ponies next week. See you guys then. Stitch by stitch, stitching it together. Deadline looms, don't you know the client's always right? Even if my fabric choice was perfect, gotta get them all done by tonight. Pinky by the colors, too obtrusive. Wait until you see it in the light. I'm sewing them together.